The process of the campus is actually having this very open environment where the scientists that are working within those facilities and within the research centres linked to them interact on a uh, daily and weekly basis with the entrepreneurs that are running these high-tech businesses. Everything that we're doing al alongside this is actually focusing that the activities or the facilities that are based here at Darsbury are internationally competitive. We do have this critical mass of high-tech companies here, nearly a hundred on campus today uh, and several hundred within our network. So where they are looking for um, collaborative opportunities or looking at how they might get some of their IP commercialized into market, there's probably some great opportunities doing it in a very targeted way at actually establishing links and connections. Our key event is our monthly business breakfast network event where we bring people from across uh, our community, typically up to 150 people, uh, large corporate organizations, SMEs, and the public sector business support community, and obviously the scientific and academic community as well. And that's a great opportunity then for us to make targeted introductions to any uh, company coming into our network. And we put that alongside a, a number of other events that we run, like for instance our access to experts, uh, tackling key issues which could be anything from around funding and investment uh, through to how to survive the credit crunch uh, or uh, areas like intellectual property uh, and organisational development. And alongside say, our physical interaction we also have our Web 2.0 facility news hub and that then is a great way of people connecting within our network. So uh, enabling uh, people to identify who else in the, the Darsbury network has relevant expertise, uh, maybe market knowledge, technology knowledge that is, that is important and key for the development of their business. We're still at a very early stage of the growth and, and development of the campus. You know, we predominantly bring in early stage businesses onto the campus uh, and certainly you could argue that those businesses which are perhaps most vulnerable, particularly in the, uh, uh, the tough economic climate that we've had to go through over the last 12 months. In four and a half years, we've only actually had three business failures, which I think is, a, is a, an enviable track record. So we're looking at developing the campus from where it is today with uh, nearly a, a thousand people working here into this uh, major technology village across something like a 300 hectare area, employing 10,000 to 15,000 people whether they're in uh, scientific facilities, major research and technology centres, or across perhaps up to 500 high-tech businesses from startups through to blue chips.